Mr. President, the case at hand is in fact very simple because the United States is publicly propagating a policy intended to damage as severely as possible Iran's economy and Iranian nationals and companies, and therefore inevitably Iranian nationals, of course. This policy is plainly in violation of 1955 Treaty of Amity. The measures reinstated by the United States, which will be further implemented and aggravated in the coming weeks and months, will have far-reaching consequences. They not only jeopardize Iran's capacity to recover a fully functional economy, Mr. President, they will be an impediment to its ability to guarantee basic health and safety for its people, not to mention basic social and educational services. I should add to its people the foreigner living in Iran, even maybe at risk in terms of their safety and health.